Hi, um, my name is James Hayes. I've done a couple of these webinars before, so you may recognize my voice and I might have even spoken to you over the phone. I have been asked to give a quick rundown on a few of the icons down in the, um, the radiography desktop version. So I'm gonna show a couple of these now. If I just go into something like head and neck, um, I might choose a C-spine, AP. We're just really trying to uh, start something up so I can show a couple of the features and we'll go into my personal room here. So as you can see, I've selected my personal room and one of the first things I should point out is you might notice on your screen when you do this, a little Unity icon down the bottom of the screen here. So that's what it looks like. It's a black and white box and it's probably an icon that you haven't seen before. If it doesn't start on your full screen, just click on that icon and you can see then you've got it. So immediately we'll go through the icons down here on the bottom. So the first one is your patient database and you should be able to get all of the information that you'd expect to see on here like you would see on your referral form. So of course we've got Morris the mannequin in here. He's got a name, a date of birth, the hospital information number and just some uh, notes. And of course because this is just a practice version it's always a routine x-ray to look for the injury. If we go into the next uh, um, setting, that's the console screen, it's a lot more detailed here. So we can go, we can choose our focal spot size. We can go between uh, milliamps um, per second separately and MAS. We can obviously change the KVP and the MAS to whatever we want. Uh, we can choose a table bucky. We can choose an erect detector or a free cassette. And then if I go along to the top here, um, we chose uh, C-spine AP, so that would be under here. If I had chosen an arm, it would be under here. You might, um, you might get forearm, AP, or lateral. So the first thing you do is you connect to one of these four patients with the area in yellow highlighted of the area you want to x-ray. So for example, foot would be under here, under the legs, foot. Dorsey planter. There we are. But we're going back into C spine and AP. Now, the next screen takes you immediately into the tube view. So, um, if you've used the virtual reality of this, you'd know that you'd walk over to the tube and you'd just press these buttons and turn these dials. But of course, we're not in virtual reality today. So, we're just going to um, control the, the tube using the icon. So, we've got rotation here. We'll take that to 90 degrees. Um, we've got our light, which we can turn on. We've got our um, directional arrows here. Um, and we should, I'm kind of trying to show all of them here. We've got the rotation and we've taken that back to zero. So we've got 90, zero, and then we've got a distance, which I'll adjust in a couple of minutes. The next icon over is either the table or the erect detector. In order to make this a little simpler for students to use, if the patient requires an erect examination, they'll have just the erect detector. And if they require um, a table examination, they'll have just the table. And this is the same in virtual reality as well. And it's just to save a little bit of space. It's a luxury you don't get in the real world, but we do in virtual reality. So there's the erect detector view, and you can move this up and down. So um, you can check with the patient there what what position you want. Now I've deliberately moved that um, so we've got an unusual view. We're just sort of looking at his hips. At any point in time you can double click on one of these icons and it'll take you back to the view that you should have. Now the next um, uh, icon over is probably the most important one. That's about patient positioning. So a couple of people have asked about the marker placement. This one puts the left on to begin with. If you go through, it puts it to a PA left. If you go through again, it takes it to a right and a PA right and then takes it off again. But we want to indicate his left side, so we would do that. And once you've got the marker on, you can position it using these arrows. So we'll leave it there for the time being. And then these icons here turn the patient around and you can see here, I'm just 
um, choosing to turn them into different positions. The numbers here relate to the numbers down there. If I want to, I can look out from the tube and um, then I can move these just as I would expect to as if I was standing beside the tube. Now, I'm going to collimate in a little bit because even though it's been 10 years since I've been in a clinical department, it feels very unusual having such wide collimation. One of the things that a couple of people have asked about is actually how do you, how do you um, know that you're centered or um, that you're in the detents? If I um, try and show you here, these green lights have just come on. Now, if I go into the tube view, I'll see these green lights are on as well. And I'm going to bring this into 100 centimeters while I'm on this view. But the, the green lights um, show me that the tube is uh, centered into the uh, correct position. Now, in virtual reality, this would be um, recognized by the tube sort of shuddering into position just like in the real world. But we don't get that luxury on the desktop version, so we had to come up with a visual clue. Um, then finally, you can go back to this view and check it. Now, this isn't an exposure I'm going to take, so I'm not worried about my position. I've just shown you what I wanted to, uh, you to see with the different icons. I go into this final view. Um, you can notice I've closed the door behind me. For example, I can go over there and check. That's the door open, that's the door closed. And then I mentioned to you before about the double click, so I can double click on that. Um, if I wanted him to hold his breath, I can press this button. That'll make him hold his breath for 15 seconds. And then that is the, to prep the machine. And that is to expose. So having just said I wasn't going to x-ray the patient, <laughs> I've gone ahead. Because what I wanted to show you is at the, at the end of that, you should press confirm and then exit.